Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Machinki. I did a lot of stuff in between episodes. My goal was like, oh, I'm going to build that train like we talked about at the end of the last episode. And I did so much stuff, most of which involved trying to get more steel produced because we're going to need a lot of steel. That's a pretty important thing in this one. My first thought was to try to find a new steel mill to work with, and I really couldn't. So I decided to improve the efficiency of our existing line. Now you may remember we had two distinct loops going through here, and I've done my best to see if I can get them all into one, uh, one setup here. I guess this intersection is kind of our slow point. I forgot that you, when uh, when you have trains that are going, that's right. It causes all sorts of problems when you have a setup like this. Uh, I guess the way to solve it would be to put a signal going there. Or, I think if I put a signal going there, in that direction, that will allow trains to go across here while trains turn down here, and maybe even go across there. I don't know, we'll find out. That's a little confusing. There is a piece of track that I forgot to remember. Okay, so, uh, but I need 50 steel right now, so I've improved, improved the production of our iron ore mine. And I need to improve the production of our coal mine, and I need 50 steel to do that, because it requires 50 steel for a second head frame. So we're almost there, as soon as this train arrives, we'll be able to take care of that. And all we have to do is just wait. So, we'll wait. And then we'll be able to go and get our oil stuff going, which which we've been waiting on for a little while now. There we go, 50. And put that right there, and great. Okay, so now we should be able to keep a very steady supply of steel coming to the uh, factory over there. Won't really have to worry about, I don't think, I suppose the, there's a potential problem that we'll have two trains waiting for steel that end up in the station at the same time. Maybe I should set these individual trains up to go to specific platforms. You know what? I'll worry about that maybe in between episodes. I think we probably can manage without that being a problem here. So um, our oil thing is right over here. So we've got our oil line going here, and it goes up to here. And I went ahead and set up our next line, which will take it to the factory near Luton. And I did not set up the goods delivery line, which think was going to deliver to over here in St. David's. So that's going to be a, an interesting... I guess I could connect from here to here, and then connect from here to here without really causing any problems. So we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. But first, let's get uh, this train started. Um, I've not given it any orders, so we'll have it go there, get a full load have it go there and get a full unload and we're ready to go so let's get that started it's gonna take a while before we can afford to buy more tanker cars but now that we've got that increased steel uh, production it shouldn't take us too much longer so this will be interesting to see how this works out and of course we have these giant locomotives for what good they're gonna do us. We still seem to be doing quite well running our entire um, our entire industry on the old fashioned uh, original steam locomotive, the one that we started with. Hey, it didn't load up anything. Why did you not load anything? Oh, cause I put the order of unload on there like a big dummy. Um, how do I, uh... well, you can't turn around. Reverse, give me a break. Oh boy. Okay. What are you gonna do here? Whoa, where where did you go? How did I end up up there? Are you gonna back into that station? Maybe? Oh come on, don't tell me you're gonna go through the entire loop. Stop. There we go. Um, now, if I get rid of this signal, will you be able to back into that station? 
or are you gonna go forward the entire ways? Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'll show you. There. Now, you better not crash. <laughs> that would be a drag. But I don't think he's gonna, I think he's gonna, there we go, smart, smart train. All right, we'll let it do that. Turn up the speed. Okay, now, now we go full load. There we go. And then you deliver it to up here like that. And then we have the full unload. And we close that window down because we've completed that task. I do need to replace this track right there. Very easy. I need to replace the signal. No problem. And now we're good to go. Okay, loading up. Glug, glug. Look at all that oil. Black gold. Or gold gold, it looks like in this case. But either way. Beautiful crude oil being delivered. Look at all that money we have. Oh my gosh, so much. $7,200. What are we going to do with all that money? Nothing really. Just sit on it. Oh yeah, let's find out what these things do. What is this? Let's uh, let's try to place it near one of the towns we're actually servicing. Like this town. Hmm. Is this a goods shop? Can we build a goods shop? That is kind of what that looks like. I'm gonna try, what, what, is, what does this do? Place for total biscuit? It is big. Oh, a headquarters. Interesting. And and what what is what does the headquarters do? Just looks neat and gives us some details and stuff, I guess. Okay. Well, good thing I built that, huh? any extra stuff on there all right and so the other one is just like a good store so we can build a good store somewhere if we really want to I don't really want to uh, luckily this thing is not connected to that oil well because then we'd have to start figuring out how to get oil out of there um, oh look at all that iron we've got piled up there here we have a good mail service going on I like it. I do want to see what this one is. I'm pretty sure it's just a good shop. But let's plunk it down. We've got $1,250 to spare. And sure enough, that allows us to turn goods into cash. We're not going to be delivering any goods there. We're just mean placing that down. Oh, I wonder, can we extend? If we can, not. <laughs> nice try. Oh well, it looked like we were going to be able to. Um, hmm. I see, so if you deliver 409, it'll build... Okay, so that's how you expand your town, is by delivering stuff. Really interesting. Hmm. I don't know what that means. 4X? So, do I get those same sort of details here? No, I don't. Oh, that's right, I don't really need them. Well, those are some uh, some fun little details. They don't give me that when I click on my... Uh... Oh, where'd my hair go? Oh my gosh. Lots of different fun faces. That'll do. Alright. So, here we have the crude oil delivered, but what I really want to do is get more... Definitely need to get more crude oil delivered, so I'm gonna have to buy up more of these. Uh... Boy, we're gonna need more steel to buy the next family of um, tanks. So we've got a ways to go. Good thing I improved that steel. Oh, well, it didn't affect you at all. Um, good thing I. Oh, how do I keep doing that? keep uh, 
I good thing I improved our steel production is what I'm trying to say here. It's on the other side of this lake, right? Alright, do I need more trains hauling steel? Looks like I do. Well, that's, that's not a problem. Now, I don't, I, I can only use the porter on this line because all my other trains are porters, so if I want to increase the, uh, or change the train type, I'd have to do that, but I don't really need to. We have this more advanced. Sometimes it'll show you the, the little deal on here, and sometimes it doesn't. That's weird. That's fine. One, two, three, four. Four. I could probably get one more. You know what? We'll just stick with that. It's probably going to be enough anyways. You go from here. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty lucky. Do it. I probably ought to take that full load thing off of those trains, though, because... No! You did not go to the right, so I screwed up your orders. Oh, there we go. Just, just go from there. Let's see. Wait a minute. Well, that's fine. Go from there to there. That'll do. Oh, for crying out loud. I clicked on the station. Alright, good. Thank you. Even better. Let's make sure this train gets out of the little trap I set for it. There we are. We We're going in circles. Yay! It's fun. There we are. All right. All right. Might be getting close to having too many trains on this one line. But that could always be a problem. Oh, yeah. I didn't quite set it up to handle that many trains, but I think we're still going to be okay. Also, I didn't necessarily mean to change my town color to purple. I like purple. It's a nice enough color, but that's not color I would really choose. So let's go back here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Wow, really neat. Hmm. Interesting. What are, why are these ones like indented? Bizarre. A lot of colors to choose from now. I like green. Or cyan. Oh yeah, cyan. I'll take it. You call it turquoise. I don't care. It's always cyan to me. If it's all cyan, that was dumb. I was trying to say, like, if it's all the same. That didn't work. Oh, okay, good. So you guys don't wait for a full load, and you shouldn't. Oh, no. Some of you do. You 20 trains do. That 28 train doesn't. All right, so if we get two of these 20 trains stuck in there... I'm actually going to go ahead and remove your full load instructions. So the other one can wait for a full load. That's no problem. But we can't have... Wait, what are you doing now? Oh, you dumb dumb. Why would you do that? Of course you're going to unload at the other station. All right, there we go. That's better. There's only eight to take, I guess. So now I have too many steel trains delivering. I could get rid of one of them and replace the other one with the high capacity steel cars, and I bet you would be in good shape. So I'm going to do that here in a minute. This one right here. You, go to depot, please. Actually, the other one's going to go to the depot as well. one of them is going to get an extra or replacement of all its carriages and the other one's going to get just sold oh that's right ah you can't do two trains at once or at least you couldn't maybe you can now 
but uh, we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. Got to do our uh, do our quick fix if I can. Vehicle in the way. Ah, oh, good. All right. Okay, so here we're just going to sell this entire train. That's easy. So I didn't even need to do my little quick fix. But let's try it again. From there up to there. Great. Okay. Train. Go to the thingy place. I don't know what I did wrong. Now I've like blocked this whole thing off somehow. Ah, uh, for crying out loud. should be able to get to the station. Oh, you're stopped. That's why. All right. get, get to that uh, depot, please. Thank you. I need to put some signals in again. There we are. Now we're safe. And are you in the station yet? There we go. So we're going to sell your wagons. And we're going to put on new ones with the Warren 2. No, the. There we go. Schutzel 2 wagons. There we are. And uh, if we click on you, you can wait for a full load. That's fine. Go ahead and start. And we're ready to go. And you're going to block this area, but that's okay. All right, you carry 35. So you carry almost as much as the train you replaced. Jeez. Are you too long, though? You might be too long. We'll find out here in a moment. Might have gone a little overboard. Ha-ha, <laughs> look at that. Perfect length. Just like I would have wanted if I'd planned it out. I'm that good. Nice job, Sean. That's what I say. Congratulations, you did it for once. Oh, and look at that. We've got a bunch of steel saved up. So now we can get this second train going here with our wagons. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. And um, we'll click on the train there. And we'll give it orders to go to there, get a full load, and then go up to here and empty. And you can start. And then our next train. Oh, look at that. Did we? Uh... OK, so now we need to do that. Now, did we not get our reward from the previous one? Huh. All right, um, maybe we did and I just didn't notice. And here, let's go with an engine that we can actually afford <laughs> instead of waiting around for 100 years to get the silly engine that, uh, or this engine. Actually, we can afford that engine, it's cheap. It was the cars that we had trouble affording. And that's not gonna change here. I guess we could get a bunch of those cars. Let's do it. How, how long are you, Mr. Train? One, two, three, four. So I could put at least two more of those wagons on there. That's not a two more. Hey, there you go. Perfect. Um, you go to here. Wait for full load. And then go to... Oh, hey, that's how you go to the next station. Go to there, please. Start. All right, whoa, is that the right direction? I guess it is, that's what the arrows say. Cool, well, this will, we'll meet that goal pretty quickly. A little over two trains. And we've got lots of, uh, oh, that one carries 42, that one only carries 35. I guess I should have got another car onto that train. Oh well, it's all right. We'll, 
we'll uh, probably have too many trains run, and of course all we have to do is, uh, I never think about expanding our uh, factories, so. And there's our goods being produced. I love it. It's gonna make us rich. So, if they come out of here, hmm. I still think I'm gonna run them on a separate line. They're, they're gonna connect up to this line, but they're gonna go on a separate line from there. Let's narrow, let's slow that speed down. Yep, I need to deliver three, oh, to three different cities. Oh my gosh. And it's not much of a reward for delivering to three different cities. That's a really complicated task. <laughs> now we get the uh, 200 uh, piece track construction thing. That's funny. All right. Well, we've almost met that one. All right. So if we go with our standard track build, which I guess the hotkeys don't do. I don't need that. Um, so we want to want to come around this side on this one so we're gonna we're gonna lower the track there and there that'll do you're gonna come like that spin it around we and then you're gonna come around like uh, that very good and then you're gonna go up and over up and at them and that's too far extra piece, bam -o. and then uh, there you go, loop-de-loo, like that, and connect on to this one, beautiful, doesn't really matter, but I don't like having those two pieces of track so close to each other, and then you'll be a part of this section down to here, and then you're going to cross over onto here, So I kind of want to come in there. There we go. That'll do. Um, that way the signaling will be a little easier. Because we should be able to fit a full train in there. Should be able to fit a full train in there, I think. <clears throat> this is a little... I don't like this large section being all one signal, but I, I don't really know any way around it at this point. Not quite sure how many trains we're going to have servicing goods here. And then over here we're going to need a pretty long, or pretty, yeah, long curve. That's not too bad. There we go, like that, very good. So we'll put, I uh, probably can't put any signals on the, uh, that's too bad. So that's not ideal, but that's all right. That's fine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Not quite sure if that's long enough to fit a full train into, but we'll give it a shot. And then you will come off of here up into here so let's have it go up into here I mean I honestly don't really need to have it run along the uh, actually I don't really need to have it run along any tracks at all to be honest we have so much money there's no need to uh, to duplicate tracks it's not like there's a maintenance cost on tracks but I could have it make it make its way back up here entirely without connecting into uh, connecting into this track section. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have a pretty narrow little bit here where where they there is an overlap. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And on the way back down, cross over. There's a signal. That stuff is all good. Right. And um, maybe a couple 
of signals along through here. There's one. Here's where you guys connect back up. You don't really need to worry about it there. And you'll come out of here. I don't know, one there, I suppose. I'll put one here. And, uh, there's fine. We already have one down here, right? Okay, that'll do. All right. Well, guys, there's the basic layout. And, uh, yeah. Um, hey, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you being here and uh, hopefully enjoying this series. Um, if you're having a good time, you know, try clicking that like button. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. And I hope I'll see you again. Um, bye.